Good evening, it's six o'clock in the evening here in the great British Isles of Manchester, UK. Uh, we are live, uh, we do have the windows open, so we apologize if anything gets picked up outside, including a ice cream truck outside, ice cream van, uh, which is, of course has to show up at the at this time of night um it had all night had all afternoon to come but no wait till 6 p.m when we got when we go out on the air to appear uh we are having some technical difficulties so we're bringing uh, my guest on um according to instagram he is ready to come on the show but he's yet to make any contact to appear on the show um so hopefully he will actually appear on the show in the next few minutes because he's on a tight schedule i'm on a tight schedule because you can see i'm wearing an England shirt. I also have uh, an England uh, flag. I've got two flags. One is actually hanging outside the windows here and I've got uh, this one here. So we are very supporting of um, England tonight against Scotland. Uh, if you're into the Euros 2020, uh, so that's what we are doing here tonight. We are going to have a full-on England uh, win hopefully tonight. Uh, live here on uh, of course on TV and around the world uh, but we're just hoping that uh, he makes contact with us because uh, we have reached out to say that, I, that uh, he's not going in contact with us and uh, getting ready is the uh, it's a story he used, but he's not responded back yet. Uh, again, this is live TV, people, so we have a bear with us. Uh, this is the first time I guess it's actually this late, but uh, I'm sure <laughs> it's uh, an issue on his end. And uh, if he is uh, tuning in, um, uh, Um, so we'll just see what happens. We are live and of course we are very supporting of England here this evening. Uh, here on June 18th, Friday June 18th, I should say that as well. On my birthday and for the first time ever on YouTube or any other platform, I appear one over the past three years. I'm actually doing a show live tonight for the first time ever on my birthday. Usually I will relax, watch England on my birthday see if we win, see if we lose, see if we draw, um, but we're making a dash to the hour as I want to prepare for the England game at 6pm my time tonight. Um, so we'll just, uh, again, I'm just going to now tag him just to see, because he's tagged me and uh, I can't actually bring him on. So if I just do that that might alert him to say hey call me because uh, we're waiting for him we can't do anything we can't do no questions uh, but again you can use the hashtag the uh, Fowler show uh, to tune in and ask your questions to hopefully my guest this evening because my guest is going to be former WWE wrestler who's wrestled in NXT to War to Smackdown Live part of the Ascension um, he of course started his career out in DSW which if you're not familiar what that means Deep South Wrestling uh, which was a great company which then turned into FCW which then turned into NXT which is today uh, so a lot of different names over the past 15 years or so so you know a long a long a, lo a, a long history uh, of that because he's met so many unique and uh, interesting people along the way and uh, for some reason uh, we can't actually get him on the show at the moment we are hoping he does respond to us because we are waiting for his presence to appear live on the show we've got his um info i found him on info uh, uh, usually because what happened was i usually have people i was sent to my I, I usually send them my link for them to contact me and then they usually show up live not this time though. Um, so we are ready. We is getting ready, but that was about what seven minutes ago he wrote that out. Yeah, 
five yeah so a minute before 10 minutes ago actually he he, he said that 10 minutes ago he's getting ready to come on the show but he's not here yet if you're watching this on demand feel free to skip this part hopefully there will be a part where you can actually see the interview where with my guest i'm just rambling on here uh welcome to uh, anybody who's tuning in right now uh i am called you my what the earth is this hello thank you uh mike for the kind kind comments it is my birthday here today on june 18th 2021 and the funny thing is 22 years ago and i just took my age off that um that uh yeah three birthdays yeah you were early yesterday you gave me one early today and then right now live uh of course on this day and date 22 years ago that's how old i am um i was born on this actual day of friday so there you go it's not very really often my birthday on a friday but when it is on a friday you know it's very special and usually i don't have it live on youtube or any platform you know, relax but not today uh because my guest is say he can do today or middle of july and i thought well i don't want to wait until the middle of july to bring you one i want somebody on this week and uh you know he's now letting it down you know he's uh deciding he says on instagram uh you can go to his instagram account at big underscore con one and tell him to come on the air tell him to come on the show he's wrote about getting ready but he's so far made no other contact to come on the show so people of this youtube or twitter or facebook share this video tell everybody to, to act him on twitter and instagram at big underscore con one to let them know to come on the show because we're ready and waiting for him the people outside the windows where i am are probably thinking what is this guy talking about um but yeah so i am watching his instagram within great tense to see if he's gonna respond here i have also as well emailed him to say can you ring me and i've also contacted him on skype as well and he's no contact on there yet so we are like is this actually going to happen or not um is he gonna be? Is he gonna be? Uh, and then people saying, "Oh, I forgot." Here we go. 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 I uh, just received an email. Okay, so he says he's gonna contact me now. Uh, he just said that the email, uh, by email that, that apparently uh, he just had to, sign in, had to download the whole thing. Should be wanting now, and I will say, "Okay, you call me." Uh, no worries. I'm just filling in here live on the air. Apologies for this, everybody. Uh, no worries. Um, uh, call me on Skype. When you're ready. But if you have questions for my guest, uh, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, or not below in, in, in the live chat, obviously. Or use the hashtag... Uh, the Edward Fowler show. He's now just sent me his Skype as well. So this is interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to do this on my mobile phone. I can't do it here on the computer because I don't have access to the emails on this particular device. But we will have him in a moment uh, here. Uh, imagine this is the same Skype I'm actually been contacting him on. No, it's not actually. I've been calling him on the wrong account. So I just put hi. Right, so that's what I'm filming my computer. Let's have a look. Sorry about it, everybody. Uh, this is live TV. You know, things happen, and you know, and uh, so we'll now see if this works. And and I'm sure uh, you can now hear the ice cream band truck calling live here. Welcome uh, to my guest. Here in moments, I'm hoping we will have him on the phone uh, here. Good evening. Good afternoon to you. The see you there. Trying to see if I can find you. There we go. Now, now <laughs> I got you. This is a good thing. Um, could you do me? I can't see you. I gotta try. I'm trying to find you so I can see ah, you. That's the thing. You, unfortunately, <laughs> you will not be able to see me here on Skype. However, uh, I can send you the link to the stream, and you can see me that way because uh, it uses my camera for the software to broadcast this live out on YouTube. Uh, but everybody can well, see this you. This is different, Edward. This is very different. Yes, well, we well we do things differently uh, here because uh, you know we do this live, not pre-taped, anything like that. You know, people think it can't take things out of context for you or me. Uh, this is why I, 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 I like doing it this way. Um, I'm okay. just curious if you could just turn your phone, if you could landscape, it makes it looks bigger on the screen. Uh, that's all. Let's see. There we go. That's better. Much better. 
must bear for me. But thank you for tuning in and thank you for coming on the show today. Uh, this is a, a pleasure uh, to have you on. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Sorry about the mishap. No worries. <laughs> I was actually no calling problem. you on the wrong you device. And everybody else is watching. <laughs> I was calling you on the wrong Skype because I I, I was assuming because uh, you, you had another Skype and I was ringing you on that one and I thought maybe I found you and then you weren't picking up so I thought oh what's going on here so I thought I'll email you and all that business so yeah but it's good we, uh, we the... got you here uh, eventually so this is good but uh, I do hope you're doing well and uh, whereabouts are you today in uh, the great uh, Florida area I'm guessing yeah yeah I'm located right now in St. Petersburg uh, Tampa Bay area so it's uh, weather's a little you know it's, it's, it's pretty nice out you know it's warm how about over there yeah, nice and warm, nice and warm. We're going ready for the big uh, soccer match tonight uh, against uh, England against Scotland in the Euros. So, yes, uh, yes, on my birthday. So, I'm hoping an England win. So, you can't see it, unfortunately, but I'll be showing you the link in a moment uh, via Twitter that uh, if you tune in, you can see that I'm wearing an England shirt. I got an England flag around me in case people are wondering what the hell this is. So, uh, I'm all ready for all England here this, this, this evening. And the, and the funny thing is, every time it's my birthday, in a major competition, no matter what day of the week it is, England always play on my birthday. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. I'm hoping for a win tonight. Uh, that's all I can count on, really. Well, that's awesome. Well, happy birthday. I remember you uh, posting about that, and I thought that was awesome. Talk about a day. What a day to come in on, you know? So I feel very privileged. Hey, you're welcome as well. I, thought, I, I didn't want to wait until like mid-July to bring you on. You know, God, I, I wanted you on. ASAP I thought well since you said it on my birthday so why not do that for the first time ever uh, as well yeah um, <laughs> but I'm going to say as well I'm just going to do this live uh, but um, you've had some interesting uh, encounters with some amazing talent over the past few months haven't you you've been at, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know the correct word for this but you were an out, at an outdoor show back I think it was like April I think it was for a company called PPW uh, out there somewhere in Florida. You had some incredible events down there. I think it was night after night. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but uh, you you, you were, I think you're still the PPW champion, aren't you? Uh, no, actually, no, I'm not. Uh, I, I just came in there for a friend of mine, um, an old tag partner when I broke into the business and uh, we just kind of collectively uh, worked a little deal out to where I go in there and uh, they put the strap on me. And then, you know, you always got to give those young whippersnappers a nice little rub. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, you know, um, I don't really care too much about championships anymore. I feel like I've had the best that there is pretty much in my mind, uh, the NXT tag team belts. So it's kind of hard to top that in my opinion. Fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. No, because I, I, I do remember you coming out as a PW champion and there's a particular match which is now available on YouTube on some YouTube channel. Uh, so I think it's called like the Pierce oh. Wrestling. And I've seen the pictures from the event as well. And this is one of the reasons why I want you on the show. Because I wanted to tell the people and tell me why you, uh, you know, I can understand why. Because obviously uh, you had a bit of a, an innocent uh, with a referee who, who was trying to take a bribe against you uh, at the event, if you remember oh. that. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, everybody's got to try to make a buck. You can't hate him for it, you know. <laughs> well, it was interesting. I thought he might have just beat him up, but uh, he was too scared to stay in the ring long enough for you to beat him up. But uh, that 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 being a lot more funnier. But uh, oh well. But uh, you know, uh, it's a shame. But you know, we can't wait to see you go back to PPW hopefully soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, June twenty sixth, we'll be out there uh, live on Fight for TV. Rusty Brooks. Fight TV, yes, sir, and uh, it'll be uh, Rusty Brooks's memorial. Who, if anybody knows anything about my career, knows that that's where I started was with that man in his backyard. You know, Rusty Brooks was um, a good man, a great man who trained a lot of uh, a lot of talent that we uh, we see. You know, that are out there now. Uh, Gangrel is one of them. You know, just to name, you know, one right off the top of yeah. my head. So, you know, it's going to be bittersweet. I'm um, on the 26th, but um, you know it's uh, it's exciting, and I'm I'm very very glad to be a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, I do hope you get the victory. 
uh, on that night as well, just to showcase that you know that even though maybe a memorial show for one of the one of your closest friends, I guess, who who, who helped you break in, uh, you know, to show that you still go and you can still win matches against the newer the newer talent against the newer generation who do uh, phenomenal moves nowadays, don't they? That's than and then what you were brought on when you came in, I bet. Oh yeah, yeah. They're definitely a lot more athletic for sure. There's no doubt about it. A lot smaller too. Yes, yes. <laughs> it, it, it's surprising me how much shorter uh, the wrestlers have gotten nowadays. I, I, I prefer the more powerful, taller, muscular mess wrestlers like like yourself. Um, so it's a, uh, it's nice to see some of them pop up every now and then. Uh, to to give to give a bit of a change, obviously, because you know when you see so many smaller talent, you know it kind of gets. A bit boring, I feel, for me anyway. But, you know, I, I like to change it up a bit when we can see all different sizes, you know, get in the ring together. You know, it's funny you say that because uh, when I broke in the business, yeah. everybody was big, mm. you know, and, and, and it was the littler guys were uh, the showcases. You know, those were the ones who were like, oh, wow, look at that. You know, those cool things they can do. And somewhere within the 20 years, everything just kind of flip-flopped. You know, so, um, but it's cool. You know, I, you got, you have nothing but respect for those kids because um, they're very athletic. They really are. And some of the stuff that you see to this day, it, it's, uh, it takes a lot of guts to do, you know. And so I commend them and I applaud them. Yeah. Yeah, don't blame me for that. And the better just so you know, I have now tweeted out and tagged you in it on Twitter, and I've emailed you the link as well, so everybody you can see for yourself that we are actually live on YouTube, and that I am a real person, and that you can see how I've uh, done this here tonight. Of course, we've had on Eric Bischoff on this show. We uh, back in February, we had on Terry Warnall's back. I think it was back in May as well. So you're like the uh, the third famous uh, wrestler to come on this show so far, so uh, of this year. So. Uh, Thanks to you uh, for that. Um, you know, you've been around for a long time now, and uh, you said before about you're not interested in winning championship bouts. So what is one of your main goals nowadays then? That's a great question. Um, well, you know, one of, my, one of the biggest goals that I find right now that I love to do is I love training. So, um, and I, I wouldn't have thought about this about a year ago. Um, just recently... Um, I had a buddy of mine who ended up overhearing me say that, you know, how much I'd love to give back to this to this young talent. And so he ended up bringing uh, me into this school at the time. It was called Tampa Bay Pro and it was by a gentleman of the name of David Mercury um, who introduced me to Jay Lethal. Wow. And then as time went on, we kind of just built this chemistry um, and, and, you know, we ended up eventually, you know, getting our own school and, you uh, we changed the name to um, the Wrestling Lab. And so, you know, ever since my passion has been training, you know, training these young, this younger generation. Um, and, you know, I'm a father, so it's like I love kids, which is weird because a few years back, I never would have thought that. Gotcha. Um, I never really cared for kids, to be honest with you. Um, but it's amazing how having a child can change your life and uh, make you appreciate things. Um, and then that's the way I look at these kids now. We've got 60 plus students wow. and, you know, um, and it, it's just a, it's, we just have a great, great format, you know, um, that works. And, you know, these kids, they'll come to us for personal things or some kids that, you know, are out there, they want to touch up stuff or it's just fun. Cause you, you, you watch them grow and you watch them, um, uh, just mature in this business. And I think, from a from a coaching aspect of it because I'm you know I'm new with this and and to be able to watch this it, it really brings uh it, I'm getting goosebumps it just ma it makes you so proud you know so I, I've been coaching this past year I've been taking shows here and there you know I've been at the stage in my career where I get to say yes or no um and uh, and it's just been great you know I've had time with my family I've got to rebuild my relationship and and you know, with my family as far as, you know, just doing stuff together. Yeah. Um, and being a father, uh, being a husband, um, stuff that I wasn't really good at when I was always on the road, you know, and um, and they, they deserved so much better. And so it's been one of those things that, uh, that I've been very grateful for, you know. So that's kind of what I've been up to, you know. 
<laughs> yeah, no, no, it's good. It's good because uh, you're doing great work in your, you know, in, in the local community. Uh, uh, you know, in 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 that place where the school is, and you're helping to bring, you know, people in from the streets who maybe getting into maybe bad things and helping them to turn, you know, get them uh, what's the word busy and uh, forget about what's going on elsewhere. Just focus on what's going on now. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> did, did, did you have a phone call? Did you? <laughs> it's a phone call. I apologize. No, no, no. I, we I, get them all the really time. You'd, be, them, you'd be surprised. I could do a, a whole highlight video now of how many people have phone calls during these shows. I don't know. Somewhere about 1 p.m. Eastern, people just get busy and start ringing people. I don't understand. But, <laughs> but I, I could do a whole reel about them. You know, I, I, I got like uh, an hour probably, an, an hour of just clips of people's phones going off during the show. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, it's funny, Edward. I never, um, I don't ever, I don't ever have that happen. You know, next thing you know, I do an interview, and damn, it's like everything. You know, people all of a sudden want to call. <laughs> it's like I, I think about it because when when you go on TV and stuff as well, people phones go off straight away. So I think people will be watching this on YouTube and thinking, I need, I need to tell them that you're on TV or I'm watching you on YouTube and whatnot. So. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just funny, but you know, you, there's got to be a way where we can. Um, I, I, like a feature to, to block all notifications I think he's got another phone call oh. I'm going to rip this damn phone apart <laughs> <laughs> oh my word and I, I was just saying I wish there would be a feature where where you'd be able to block all phone calls while you're busy on the phone you know kind of thing which would be I'm easy I'm telling you <laughs> <laughs> um, but but you know you, you've uh, as I was saying before we got interrupted by, by your phone I was saying like um, you're helping you know the next talent you know from the streets and whatnot to to find something else and say getting getting a mix into the bad stuff on the streets kind of thing and helping yeah. them to turn them into good people and distracting them from what's going on around them which I think is a good thing as well so it's amazing that you've got about 60 odd students now and hopefully it, it keeps on growing for years and years to come yeah. I mean, that's the whole point of all this anyways, right? Like whenever you do something and you've, you know, become successful at it, like you want to give back, you know what I mean? And that's just kind of uh, the avenue I wanted to take. So thank you for that. Yeah, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun. Well, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I, 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 I dream in it for you. And, uh, you know, who has been some of the people you've uh, you you've you've got to meet uh, along the way then? Because who you're storing, you know, great friendship today. I know you're very good friends. I call you your tag team partner right now, Victor. Because I know you guys still partner every now and then. I know you guys. I think were together in the uh, tag team in uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, I think it was last week. Uh, it's a company called PPW. I only know that because yeah. I've actually had on somebody from PPW uh, about two years really? ago called Johnny Moran. I don't know if you ever met him or not, but Johnny Moran was on this show about two years ago. He maybe eight, no. No, not two years ago, a year ago. Yeah, he came on a year ago, actually, uh, on this show. I don't know if you got to meet him or not, but he was a very cool guy when he came on here. Yeah. Yeah, it was great, you know, going up there. You know, first off, I've always loved the Northeast crowd. I've always thought, you know, that they... They're just always so much fun, and they're they're you know they're just they're just very passionate about wrestling. I'm not saying I, I'm sure everybody is, but something about the Northeast is so special. Um, and, and Pennsylvania has just been, especially like the Philly area and stuff like that. I've always had so much fun there. Um, so it was great to get back there and and to be able to perform in front of a packed out house, uh, packed house, and then. You know, I got to meet some of, you know, my old friends that I broke into business with when I was in Deep South, like Offa Jr. and Tommy Swade. You know, it was great seeing them and, of course, being on the road and seeing Eric Rowan, who was always, um, you know, Rowan was always my ride or die when I was on the road between him and Heath Slater. And then, um, you know, of course, you know, Davey Richards is coming back and, you know, he's going to do phenomenal things, I'm sure. And, and so it's just it was a good atmosphere. Um it just everybody there was fantastic, you know. So being able to see those guys that you kind of broke in the business with too, it's just you can't really. There's really no words to describe, especially when you have good relationships with them. And I bet as well that uh, when you got to reconnect with them, I bet all your, I bet you just hear right back off from from the last time you know you you saw them. I bet as well the uh, the guys from DSW and. And whatnot, and it's good to see as well. I have to say that DSW is back now as well. It's great to see that Deep South Wrestling is is now back yeah. from the dead. <laughs> I don't think that thing's gonna ever die. 
you know, Nick Patrick, you know, he ain't gonna let that thing go, man. That thing is gonna be around forever. I hope so. I, I, I'm liking yeah, what he's too. producing now in the last two episodes on the, I think it's Deep South Wrestling uh, website, I think it is. And, uh, you know, I've enjoyed the two episodes so far. I can't wait to see what they do next as well. And uh, I think it's the third yeah. episode they're going to be putting out there soon. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't wait either. I uh, I saw him uh, put a picture up, and uh, it was the old Deep South banner that we used to have, the logo yeah. and everything from uh, when – I mean, it was insane to me. And I was just – you talk about, you know, remembering everything back when I was in my mid-20s. It just brought the biggest smile to my <laughs> face. And, you know, I hope those kids realize the um, – the kind of history that Deep South carries because there was a lot of people there that held that that championship belt and there was uh and of course you've got rich history, yeah. you know, um with Nick Patrick and, you know, Papa Joe, Jody Hamilton, you know, the uh, the assassin. Like it's just uh you can't go wrong. You really can't. You can kind of indeed, and I do hope, maybe, I could be wrong, but hopefully you get an invite to uh, go back there and uh teach them a thing or two. Tell them how things were done back in the <laughs> noughties, you know, back in that era. Uh, <laughs> you know, it'd be, be, be a blast from the past, won't it, you know? It, yeah, man, that would, just to be able to see them, it'd probably bring me so much happiness, you know. I, I don't know what I would do, to be honest with you. Um, they've just been such a big part of my my, my career, you know. Um, you know, you, you probably, I'd probably get emotional, to be honest with you, but... Uh, but I'm really happy to see everything up and running for them. It really brought a smile to my face. So, you know, best of luck to Deep South. I think it's awesome that they're back on the map. Yeah, most definitely. And, uh, you know, as, as you say, it's good to see them back. You know, I thought, you know, a company of theirs, which I thought would never become, I, I never think I'd ever see that come back alive. And, you know, it's good to see them back alive in the uh, in, in, in the 20s, in the, uh, in the warring 20s, as they call it. I don't know how warming it's been so far, but hopefully that will change over the next few years. Uh, however, um, do you 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 might get then you, you know this this might be a, a bad question to ask you, but I'm going to ask you it anyway. But um, do you and Victor ever ever get annoyed? You know, get you know have have enough of each other? You know, because you're very successful singles wrestler as well, so I can understand sometimes you decide to take a break from Victor and go on the road on your own every now and then. No, I don't, I don't think, I, you know, I, I've never been annoyed with him. You know, Vic is, uh, you know, we're both kind of the same when it comes to, we like our privacy. Yeah. That's just one of the things that we do. Um, we both are professionals. So we understand that, you know, the name of the game is to make some money. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, granted, we love this. Don't get me wrong, but you, you get into this, this sport, this business, you know, to leave a legacy and to make some money. And so I love Vic and, you know, I always want Vic to do well with or without me, no matter what, you know, I want him to be able to do what he loves because I care about him. So I would never get frustrated for him if he broke off and wanted to do singles here and there. Um, because I know this at the end of the day, no matter what, um, like we're going to always be attacked. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter. You know, we, we, that's just the way it's going to be. So even if Connor goes off and does a singles run, Connor is still going to be known as, you know, one half of the, of the, the NXT tag team, the Ascension, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't matter. It's just, you are, you're tattooed with that. Yeah. So, and honestly, he's a great partner. I love him. And, uh, I couldn't have gone through this journey, um, with anyone any better. You know, he's, uh, he's a tough son of a bitch, you know, and, um, you know, true fact, he was the last to uh, to graduate from the dungeon. You know, he's he's tough, man. He's a tough, tough guy. Wow. Some interesting facts there as well, as I like it. So if you didn't know about that, you learned something new tonight. Uh, I just want to say as well, there's a, a comment in the uh, YouTube chat from a guy called Mike, who I know. Uh, he, he says he apparently met you uh, at, at uh -oh. a show in <laughs> Georgia. He does, uh, okay. uh, I don't know, he pronounced this particular location. But uh, it's somewhere in Georgia. He's a great dude. Whereabouts, McDonough? By the way, yeah, it was uh, L A R I A T O. Huh. Okay. 
But he says he but 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 he he, he gives great remarks to you though. Like he, he, he's a great dude, by the way. He says so. Uh, nothing bad there. I paid him to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he's he's a regular on on on, on this YouTube. Thanks, channel. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he's a regular on YouTube on on this YouTube channel. You know, he's a great guy. Um, he may have been. He might have met you because uh, I think he, he he's a worker as well. So maybe. He, he might have uh, been a part okay. of a show with you, maybe. Who knows? Um, but just wanted to let you know about that. Um, of course, um, you know, you, you've met so many different people because you're very good friends with, uh, I think it's Darren Young. I know you guys uh, did a get-together via Zoom on another show yep. uh, last year. Uh, who else are you uh, pretty tight with, apart from uh, Victor and, and, and Darren Young? Well, I mean, you know, I, I think... When you've been in, in the business, you know, you know, I was with, you know, WWE for 10, 10 years. Yeah. You know, 10 plus years. Long actually. time. Yes, isn't so, it? You know, a long time to be a part of yeah. one company, really. Yeah. You know, and, and so it was, you know, I made a lot of a lot of friendships there. And, you know, um, and I'm very grateful for that. And I've always treated people good. And I just I believe in that. Um, treating people the way you want to be treated. So I, I really couldn't run down a list because I, I would feel like I'd be here forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't blame you. And, <laughs> and the viewers long. are going to be like, yeah, whatever, dude. <laughs> just, next question, please. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just, I've, I mean, it's just, I, I know so many of the current talent, um, even out, even outside, like I've just started, you know, building relationships with ROH guys, you yeah, know, yeah. um, that I've, you know, got to meet through, through Jay. Um, and, and just, you just, you can you constantly meet people. Um, and, and it's just something that, you know, I used to always be a closed off guy. I would never talk a lot. Anyone that ever knew me at first, I never was a big, you you wouldn't have gotten me to do this two years ago. I just I was very very quiet and standoffish, but I always respected people and always treated them good, and I was always nice to them. Um, but I've just always appreciated relationships, and um, I'm just so grateful for meeting ROH guys, Impact guys. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, it's just I'll never forget. My trainer always told me. This is a small world in this business, but it, yet it's so funny because when you're starting off, it seems like it's so big and so vast, right? And then when you make it to the top, you start to realize like, wow, like this really isn't that big. You know, there are indie guys that are out there that probably don't even know that, you know, that we know who they are. Yeah. So you're just always meeting people and uh, hopefully you treat them good because uh, they always say that when you go up the ladder, you always want to treat that, the, you know, those people the same way because you're going to end up eventually for a majority you're going to come back down the ladder that's just the way the business is that's very true that's very true but you know there, there's now you know like when you probably when when you joined uh double way back uh 10 plus years ago there weren't many other big uh national tv uh wrestling coming on tv apart from of course tna that was the only other com company and you got to go be a part of some tna shows in the early days and you from like around 2004 wasn't it when you got to join them <laughs> yeah and actually got to wrestle uh, Jack yeah, Jarrett didn't you at one point as well it was very impressive not many people yes. can say that yes matter of fact I told uh, uh, when when he was backstage one day I actually talked to him about that he didn't know who I was because I looked completely got different you, you know so you, and, you, you um, got to remind him didn't you <laughs> I, I was like uh, I was like Jeff I was like I don't know if you know this or not but me and you wrestled um quite some time ago I want and he looked at me and he goes well um he goes uh when I want to say it was for the first I could be wrong but I think it was the first bound for glory pay-per-view ever um and that was with him and I believe Jeff Hardy if I'm oh, not wow. mistaken I again I could be very wrong but um I was just solely put in there to um to get that storyline over but he looked at me and he goes I don't remember you and I said Oh yeah, Jeff. I was like, I was a kid that did the river dance, and he goes, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah," but you know, I got to build relationships there. You know, I got to, I got to meet Jeff. Um, I got to meet Dutch Mantel. Yeah. Um, I got to work at the time a guy, a gentleman by the name of Monty Brown. Yeah. He, was, um, he was a great athlete, wasn't he? He was. Yes, yes, he was. Um, I just, I, 
you know, I was very, very privileged, you know, to, to, um, do what I've done in this business. So I'm very grateful. I really am. It's a shame at the time that they, they went on UK TV at that time. So luckily now the power through the impact plus and, you know, streaming servers, you can go back and watch all the impacts from, from the very beginning to, to today kind of thing as well to, to capture some moments you may have missed because like for us over here in the UK they to my knowledge didn't come on TV over here to 2007 so that's still quite a while ago really yeah on wow. a TV network called wow. Bravo uh, of course you have Bravo in America we have Bravo UK yes. lasted a great number of years but after two years of TNA coming to, on to Bravo it then decided to cancel so Bravo went off the air here in the UK in 2009 so and then after that we on all different kind of networks which is very unusual but yeah it, it was a great loss uh, but yeah it, it was a good time though back then in the uh, good old noise uh, era um, also as well uh, the location of that show we were talking about before is in uh Lions, Georgia. If I pronounce it. Oh, Lions, Georgia. Okay. Don't know, I don't know. I've probably been there a few, a couple times or two. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> um, but it's a great drive, though, isn't it? From 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 where you are, but only about a five hour drive, about. Yeah, probably. I'll, you know, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I'll just say yes on this one. <laughs> okay. No worries. No yeah. worries. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a good question, which I'm going to ask him anyway. So this is great. Uh, so we're, we're, we're thinking alike here, Mike, on the YouTube chat. He says as well, uh, he wants to know, uh, have you got any interest in joining Ring of Honor, Impact, AEW, New Japan Pro Wrestling, MLW, or are you happy uh, to stay as you are right now, taking bookings whenever you want to? Because you get the opportunity to, to as I did before, to take bookings when you want, decline bookings of the two far away or whatnot if it's not you know if you don't think it's reasonable uh, and also Mike says or oh, do you want to only train future wrestlers yeah you know that's a long that's answer a, that's, long question that's, that's, that's a that, well that's a long ass question number one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's a great question too um, it's hard to say where I'm at you know in my life because I'm so content and happy right now and um you know, the, the biggest thing I think at first originally was, you know, setting up, you know, getting the school set and ready with, you know, Lethal and Mercury. Like that was one of our big projects and, you know, getting things going. And, uh, you know, Vic and I, we've sat down and we've talked about it, you know, a time or two. Um, you know, we want to do stuff. I think we're getting to the point to where uh, we want to, you know, get back on the scene and do some stuff because, I mean, listen, I mean, we ain't getting any younger, that's for sure. But we still have a lot left in the tank. And that's you're going to always hear wrestlers say that. But I see guys that are out there that, you know, that were younger then that are still motoring yeah. things. You know, they look great doing what they're doing. And so I, I think, you know, Vic and I are getting to the point to where it's like, okay, let's uh, let's stir the pot a little bit. Let's let's go have some fun, you know. Well, we can't wait to see where you end up. Uh, when, where, wherever you decide to, uh, you know, appear, at. it'll be a great. Uh, I'm sure the fans will react accordingly to wherever you appear as well. Uh, which would be great. So. Oh, I'm sure they will. <laughs> Good or bad, I'm sure. Good or bad, if cheers or booze, <laughs> they will give you some kind of a reaction for sure. Uh, depending what not um, but I mean like as well because you know we've had a lot of great people on here and you know we like to stir the pot a bit as well and uh, you know is there anybody uh, who you would who, who you would love to face which you've not had the chance to yet oh yeah you know that was a question that Vic and I talked about too you know um you know, it'd be a lot of fun to to get out there to New Japan and and, and mess around with the Bullet Club a little <laughs> bit. You know, it would, uh, of course. No, it really would. You know, and then of course, you know, then then you've got you know the uh, the Briscoes. Yeah. You know, um, there's just there's, I mean, even rock and roll still going. Yeah, to this they day. are. How awesome you know, they are. Right? You know, they are in their in their late sixties. I think they are, and they're still <laughs> going strong like they're like 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 they're in their twenties or thirties. Right. I mean, to me, that's the pinnacle of tag team wrestling yeah. right there. Like, it doesn't get no better than that, you know. And so, you know, to be able to share a ring with those guys would be amazing, you know. So, 
there are so many teams that are out there that we love to go mess around with. What um, about what about uh, singles so it, as well? What, what, what about single competitors? Uh, you know, it's going to sound kind of crazy. And I think just because uh, I, he's grown on me as PCO, I, I would love to have a singles match with him. That would be a very end I know that's, match, just, I that's just crazy. I just – I just, I don't know. He just looks like a lot of fun to yeah. work, to be honest with you. Yeah, I agree. He is quite crazy, I have to say. Uh, you know, I, I, I think... <laughs> I love yeah, it, though. <laughs> I know, I know. But I think you two will actually have great chemistry, and I think it would be a very good match. So hopefully, maybe Ring of Honor, maybe somewhere else could book it. It would be great to see that. Yeah. Because I'm sure you'll win it. That's the thing. I think you'll win, though. I think that's why he's scared of maybe accepting it, if, if it ever comes on his plate. Well, I'll tell you what. Whether I get pinned or if I pin him, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna win no matter what. <laughs> Good. Because I get to share the ring yeah. with him. Like, yeah, that's the main <laughs> I mean. thing. That's the main thing, isn't it? That's the main thing. Um, of course, when restrictions ease across our two countries, uh, could we see yourself and Victor coming over back to the UK uh, to oh, to man. to to wrestle over here? Hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, at some point in the future. I think so. Uh, I know we would love to get overseas. I know there's been a lot of complications yeah. right now with um, everything, which, you know, I, I it, I'm i sorry that you guys are going through everything out there the way you guys are. Um, but I, I know for a fact that we would love to get out there and just work. You know, it, I love the UK and I'm pretty sure he loves the UK. For me specifically, I love the fans and the energy. They are a blast. They're fun. They're funny. Um, I love the sense of humor of everybody out there. It's just, it'd be awesome to get out there. Legit. Yeah, yeah don't blame you. And of course, we are very passionate people uh, because of our football nature, of course. We get very down and gritty. And yeah, we, we do have good humor. I'll tell you a funny story, however, because, um, uh, you know, you know who Pete Dunn is. I'm sure you do. Uh, and uh, yes. we called him, we gave him a, a nickname. Over here in Manchester a few years ago, we called him Cheap Jack Schrager. Okay, I thought we called him here in Manchester. You get the best chance in Manchester, UK. I don't know why we called him Cheap Jack Schrager because he had his hair just like him and, and he wore the same kind of um, what's the correct wording? Uh, um, like, yeah, English. that's the word. Uh, which Jack Schrager okay. wears as well. So that's why we called him that. And the guess what? It was, it was on a show called uh wc wcw i think it was like wcwc west uh it was some weird company kind of it was called now and uh it turned into defiant west and it's no longer around but it happened just 20 minutes away from my house and the main event of that card was kurt angle against cody Rhodes, and uh, we had a lot of different legends on that show as well we had melina there we had bret hart there as well oh. and jim Cornette as well on commentary available on youtube still uh but yeah very good show and that's what we called him, uh, Cheap Jack Schrager. He didn't like it. He was yelling and everything, and you know, say, and 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 then we tried, "Who are you? Who are you?" As well, so, you know, you won't get that because we all know who you are. You guys are notorious. You're notorious for busting balls out there. I, that's why I love you guys. It's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You never know what you're going to no. get. You know what I mean? It's so cool. And, and, of course, you had the chance to perform, I think, in front of some UK fans when you come over to, when you were part of the Dory Tours and I think for the live TV tapings as oh. well. Um, I bet you had some blasts because I know uh, when I watched uh, Evil War or SmackDown when they come from uh, the UK, I know you guys are probably laughing your heads off when you go backstage afterwards. Oh, it's <laughs> how do you not you know <laughs> what I mean? So it's, yeah, it's just it's great. The atmosphere is amazing. It really is. It's just it's almost like they try to overtake the show. You know what I mean? Um, because they are so passionate and they're just I don't know. They're just they're just a lot of fun. I, I don't know how to explain it. I just know that anytime I'm in the UK, I always know I'm going to be laughing. Yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. But I mean, uh, what's been your uh, favorite reaction then? It, you know, from wherever you've been, uh, what's been your favorite reaction? Is it been a reaction you've you had in the US or overseas as well, maybe? Or, or are you still waiting for that particular reaction you're you're craving for? Uh, I used, to, you know, my favorite reaction 
for 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 us, I want to say, was any time in NXT when we would come out and the cr- the crowd would start chanting "Yeah," that was probably for me my personal experience. Um, because you know, because it was so intimate at the time, and the crowd was a part of the show. Um, it, it was just so much fun to to feel that energy. Yeah. Um, and, and Vic and I, you know, it just hearing the crowd get like that, you would turn into, you know, we turned into animals. <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah. We were feeding off that energy, yeah. you know, and it, it was, it, it's just something that I'll always take to the grave with me was, you know, those NXT fans and the, and the, the Yah movement where they would all just start chanting Yah. And it was just, I don't know. It was so cool to me. Um, and it's just something I'll always, you know, appreciate. Mm. It's, it's, a, it's a shame that uh, that back then they weren't on because I know they were on the they, they were on the WWE Network of course, but they they, they, they they weren't on live national TV like they are now, like on the USA Network nowadays. So yeah. I, feel, I feel a bit ashamed that they didn't do that from the be, from the whole of the beginning. You know, being on network TV from the yeah. beginning. You know, because I'm sure they had a better reaction on social media. More people would have got saw the reactions as well. So you know, it's 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 it's, it's a shame, but I guess. They can go relive it on the WWE Network as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, it just kind of is what it is, you know. Um, it, it's just, it, then you know, NXT has turned into a beast in itself. So I remember when Vic and I, we, we ended up getting up to the main yeah. roster. I think NXT had just started doing, um, like, out-of-state stuff. Okay. And me and Vic looked at each other like, ah, oh, go figure <laughs> You know, go figure. <laughs> so, yeah, we just missed it, but that's okay. You know what I mean? Look at it now. It, it, it's incredible. Um, it gives this younger talent this awesome platform um, to showcase. And so, you know, being an original, you know, it's something to be proud of. There was, uh, you know, we put a lot of hard work into it and to watch it grow and get even bigger and yeah. better. It, it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. It is, it is, and of course, one of my favorite moments as well. I think it was like uh, when you uh, first appeared on War. I think it was with you and Victor. Uh, There's a segment, wasn't there, between you two and uh, some legends as well. I enjoyed that oh, yeah. interaction and a little beat down when the APA reformed with JB and Farouk. Yep. That was great, a great pop to the crowd. I think you were trying to. The idea, I think, was you guys were trying to imitate the Road Warriors, I think, or something along the lines of that. I remember the word Road Warriors being thrown around. Yeah. Yeah, there were, I think the whole idea for that concept was to insult the legends. That's right. Um, <laughs> and uh, and it, got beat down. it got a lot of heat, you know. It got a lot Did of it? heat. And uh, it was it was good, <laughs> you know. It was it did what it needed to mm-hmm. do. That was the best thing I could say about it. I know there's mixed feelings on that with some people. Um, but at the end of the day, the bottom line was, is that they trusted us to go out there to perform that segment with those yeah. guys. And, uh, and that says a lot. That's, you know, to be able to, how many people get to share that ring with those guys? First off, not many nowadays, is it really? You know, no so it's such a compliment um to be able to to share that that moment and be in that moment with them um and, and you know and then the payoff at the very end it was in philadelphia it was uh the pay-per-view and uh we ended up wrestling uh billy gunn and road yes. dog <laughs> um, again and we closed we closed that whole series yeah. out you know and uh it, you know it was uh to go over on the outlaws i mean look what they've done i mean they're to me they're one of the greatest tag teams they're so much fun to be around they're professional and they're and they hone their craft yeah. you know they're they're great at what they do absolutely i i, I agree there and of course yeah the uh oh you didn't know yeah good old times go yes. to call somebody. yeah I, I was very surprised <laughs> that when because they came back uh part of the war reunion 
uh, one thousand episode, and and then they started wrestling again, and I thought, wow, okay, this is interesting. I thought, you know, I thought I thought they 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 were retired, and you know, they'd done what they needed to do, and you know, do some things backstage or whatnot. But no, they came back, and it was great seeing them back. You know, to to gain new fans yeah. who may not have watched them back then, you know, kind of thing. Uh, so it's very, very, so. very cool to see them back and wrestling the the newer guy like yourselves and such. But yeah, it's very good that, that you got the win back then. I was quite sad because I wanted to see them win, but nowadays I'm happy that you guys won because it made more sense. Yeah, I mean, it. I don't know. It, it's one of those things where it doesn't really matter who wins or loses at this point. You know what I mean? It was uh, we got to share the ring with them, yeah. and it wouldn't have mattered that day if we won or lost. I don't think because Billy Gunn was one. He was one of our coaches. You know what I mean? Um, in FCW and in, in NXT, and then Road Dog was one of our agents. Yeah. You know, so it. I mean, it's. Uh, it's a lot of fun to be able to say that you were able to share the ring with all of those guys, Absolutely. you know? So, you know, it's a lot of people can't say that. And, you know, me and Vic can. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not many teams can say that they've uh, went up against the new age outlaws in the, uh, in, in the, uh, in, in the teens years. Uh, and that's what people say. They they say the teens years, but don't they? Uh, just to say as well, we got about two more questions. Gonna you need to go off to prepare for your next calendar invite. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, <laughs> technology will be uh, better for you <laughs> on that one for you. But uh, throughout the episode as well on the YouTube, we have been showcasing your social medias, and just to say that you can follow my guest on social media on Twitter and Instagram. At uh, big underscore con one, very simple, very easy to find on both Twitter and Instagram. He's got one hundred thousand point seven k on Twitter and around about is it like about forty thousand followers on Instagram. Is it? I'm horrible at social media. Oh, yeah. Horrible. Oh, I'm awful. <laughs> I just started getting a bug up my ass to start posting stuff. Yeah, my wife even tells me that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you you you've got way more posts than I do, and I post much less than you. So, so there you go. You know, you're 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 still up on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, who would you um you know suggest me to come to 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 uh, come on the show after after the presence of you? If you get that. Okay, say that. <laughs> okay. I said, um, who would you suggest me to contact next to come on this show after you to follow in, in your presence? Oh, you got to get Vic. You have to. <laughs> okay. That's you a pretty easy to. one for you. <laughs> get Vic. I mean, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a layup for me. You got to get Vic. Well, I try my hardest to do so. You know, it's, you know, it's, very, it's very hard to get in contact with people, uh, you know, sometimes when when you have no way to contact them. So I'll try my best to find a way to reach him. If it... I'm sure we can help you out with that. I'm sure there won't be a problem. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be great having him on the show as well to, to, to see what if he has any hidden stories about yourself, which you may think might not be very good inf 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 info uh, for the viewers, but we'll see, <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. Um, have you got any uh, upcoming uh, events or shows you'll be heading to in the coming weeks? Yes, we do. Uh, June uh, 25th, I'll be hosting my first official seminar um, for a company called Magic City Wrestling down in South Florida. Um, June 26th will be uh, Platinum Pro, yeah. uh, the Rusty Brooks Memorial. Nice. Uh, July 9th uh, it will be ARW, um, where it'll be the Star Spangled Slammer. And that'll be... Uh, uh, Kurt Hawkins, um, Zach Ryder, or Matt Cardona, yeah. us and the Headbangers in a in a uh, three way, which will be awesome. Um, and then July fifteenth, I get to go see Rhino in Monroe, Michigan. Wow! So you're so, a lot of big and then, events. Of course, July twenty fourth. July twenty fourth will be SWE, which is I'm actually excited about that oh, one as yes. well. I know exactly what you're talking about. SWE Fury, also on Fight TV yeah. in Texas with the Boogeyman. 
Teddy Long. Yeah. Uh, and Teddy yeah. Long. Holla, holla, holla. <laughs> I miss me some Teddy. Yeah, yeah, you know, W Hall of Famer, yeah. And, of course, the boogeyman. Don't get the worms because, you know, I bet they taste and disgusting, I bet. <laughs> uh, we, we, we've actually reached out to uh, Finn all along. Uh, we don't know if we actually saw our email because... Uh, on his official Facebook page, his actual website does no longer exist. So I don't know if his email actually works anymore. But yeah, we we, we, we try to get Mr. Holla Holla as well. And <laughs> we call him here on this show. Um, but yeah, it, 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 you know, it's, it's interesting. But I do hope you have fun at that show. But you, you've got some great events coming up, as you mentioned as well. You got to, you're going to hang out with, uh, you know, Kurt Hawkins and Matt as well. They were recently hanged out with Shark Boy, Shell Yeah, a few weeks ago, a friend of the show yeah. as well. And then you're going to meet Wino and hang out with him. I'm sure you guys have some great uh, chit chat and whatnot when you guys catch up. And then, of course, the finish are all off. SWE, one of the biggest wrestling companies in Texas right now. And, of course, you can catch them on Fight TV as long with PBW on June the 25th, uh, is it 26th? June 26th on. Fight TV, 8 p.m. Eastern. It kicks yep. off at, and of course, check out uh, your semester on the uh, Try Your Fifth. If you're in the area and got enough uh, funds to attend, then go ahead and attend. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you will learn something new or different which you may not knew beforehand. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we're learning every day. <laughs> we always are, even yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't blame you for that. And uh, you know, it's great to see you. And of course, uh, we do have. Because um, I know you don't have a Facebook page, do you? No, I I keep my Facebook page immediately just for my family. Yeah. I you know, and even I'm really bad at that thing to be honest <laughs> with you. No, so, cause, because I'm I, terrible I with tag you on everything Facebook, I have. So I, I was going to tag you on Facebook, but then if I type thing, and it only brought up. Uh, other people's Facebooks, but not actually a Facebook like page. I thought, well, that's no good. <laughs> uh, but there you go. I, you can't find no, me. No, you can't find you. Uh, or can I? <laughs> Twitter and Instagram, big con, uh, big underscore con one, I think it is on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, there. But yeah, it's been great. Do support him and uh, help him to grow on Twitter and Instagram. Get him to 200,000 followers on Twitter. Get him to 100,000 on Instagram where he should be at on both platforms because you know he's you know been a part of the boy and a lot of interesting companies and a lot of people he knows so you know learn something new and keep with all the events where he's going to be at I mean he can come out to one of his shows hopefully you can uh, branch out a little instead of saying in Florida come to Georgia or Alabama or even Las Vegas as well maybe uh, just saying that but yeah it's been a pleasure having you on the show I do hope that you'll come back on the show thank you Edward absolutely good absolutely good <laughs> good because it, it, it's been fun having you on the show you're quite a funny guy actually when you're not meant on in, in the ring so uh, we're going to see a different side of you tonight oh well yeah, hopefully that's a good thing and not no, a bad no, thing. No, no, it's a good thing. It's a good thing because people think that you're actually just mens all the time, don't they? You know, kind of thing. So it's good to see that actually you're not. You're actually quite chatty and quite funny as well. So it's good. Good to see that. And, uh, of course, if you enjoyed the episode, then make sure you do like it on YouTube. Leave a comment in the comment center below. Uh, share the video around to all your friends. Tell them all about Big Con, a.k.a. Ryan, you know, Parmeter. Tell them that he's one of the best in the world with his tag team partner Victor from the Ascension uh, and as well if you're new around here then subscribe and the notification is on means we can grow this thing more to get more people like Ryan you know from and his friends on this show we have reached out to so many people many different people from you know legends from double E like you know I'm, I'm not going to mention it because uh, they probably won't come on the show yet but uh, yeah we, we've been encouraged a little different people but you have to tune in to subscribe to get the better people on the show that's what I have to say isn't it really get the better people on because the more people can get to view and subscribe the bigger we can get people on because you know I've tried to get on some people but I get nope because and uh, don't give me no reason why so I think it's a bit of a shame you know because we're the best UK podcast which is uh, something different something unique and something very very um, special about this show I say but there you go uh, but until 
the next episode. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday afternoon. Not Thursday. Friday afternoon or evening. I don't know. I ah. usually I usually do this on a Thursday. You need to go on vacation. Yeah. You need I a vacation. Do, don't I? I do need a, a vacation. <laughs> I, I, I have been thinking about that. <laughs> I've been thinking about that for ages, actually, yeah, but but I usually do this on a, show on a Thursday, not really, but on a Friday, but yeah, it's for the past five times this year, I've done it on a Friday, um, but there you go, but yeah, enjoy it your Friday night here on June 18th, and best luck for England to win. <laughs> uh, but, uh, when...